Hi, my name is Jessica Smith. I'm with Bland's Nursery in West Jordan, Utah. And today we're talking about pressing flowers and using them in your scrapbooks. When pressing flowers, for the most part, I would try many different varieties. But flat types of flowers, like the Coreopsis here, would do best for you because they're going to be flattened out. The best thing to use when pressing flowers is actually a flower press. And you can pick these up at your craft stores and you'd lay them down, your cut flowers in there, and get a little dimension also with it. Take a little bit of the stock and when pressing it down, put this so that you've still got a stock that you could work with around your scrapbooking page and put draw a few little leaves in or you can actually press the leaves and display them around your pictures. One year, my kids and I, when we were camping, gathered some wildflowers and we put them in around our scrapbooking uh, pictures so that we could remember that the flowers, what the flowers were the, around the camp area that we went to. Sometimes the flowers will take different times to dry, so you need to check them. Follow the label directions in your flower press. Um, then after they've been pressed and ready to go, arrange them on your scrapbooking page and make sure you take some Mod Podge and put it over so that they don't bleed and they are, they're able to stick down to the page because they can become very fragile. Check out your local craft store for the flower press and all those instructions that'll have with it. The Mod Podge and then just get creative and start with all different types of flowers. You'll see which one will work for you and which ones don't.